Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Eye on Icon. The episode, the show, we go around the ecosystem. Haven't been around the ecosystem for a while. And um, so glad to be doing it with me, as always, Digital Dave. Hey, hey, Fez, thanks for inviting me back again. It's been a while. I was wondering where you went. I thought you disappeared. Yeah, look, when one person reached out asking when's the next episode of Iron Icon, I knew it was time. <laughs> <laughs> that easily triggered. Yeah, yeah. But um, no, we haven't been sitting on our ass and doing nothing. We have been a traveling career blockchain week representing Icon. What an adventure that was, huh, David? It was indeed. It started off with uh, you and me uh, buying tickets for this conference and uh, and deciding to fly in, and it ended up in like a week full of activities and meet and greets with people we've, you know, been in contact with through the the, the online. I call them my fake internet friends, mm -hmm. uh, and it was really really good to see people in real life. And uh, yeah, so some some interesting like insights being shared some delicious dinners to, to, to be eaten so absolutely worth it yeah definitely look um it, it, my learnings my takeaways okay from a career blockchain week was if you want to see vitalik you get in there a few hours early you don't just roll in on time okay <laughs> couldn't fit through the doors i could see the man talking he looked very smart but couldn't hear him i um they were giving out translators at the door. So I thought I was a bit of a genius. I grabbed a translator and I stuck it in my ear and I was like, uh, the translator, cause it would translate from Korean to English, English to Korean. I was like, sweet, I'll just listen to the English channel and uh, get, you know, what he's saying on stage. But of course, if the speaker was in English, it was only translated in Korean. The English channel wouldn't just play the normal audio. Um, now, let it be known, I was in the venue I could see him. <laughs> yes, I was staring at him and I couldn't hear hear him. Anyway, that was life shattering for me because that's all I spoke about, right, David? Indeed. And um, I must say, you actually did better than I did because while you were standing outside the venue that you couldn't get into, I was walking up and down Korean streets looking for a PCR testing center to get my compulsory COVID test sorted. <laughs> so we both went to Korea to see Vitalik and uh, we both missed out big time uh i'd say we try it again sometime yeah yeah definitely but that said either way while all this was happening icon along with nia and states Dow was holding a three-day workshop event that we were there constantly at so uh that itself sucked up all our time um but what an experience it was uh, in that regard i got to interview a ton of people uh thanks to ben who had a bit of a setup that we just jumped on. Basically, once the studio was set up, I was like, let's capitalize on this opportunity. Anyone who walked through the door, I was running going, what do you do? Who do you do? If, uh, who do you do? No, not who you do. What do you do? What protocol? If I had no idea, I quickly went on Twitter, um, had a look at uh, what they did, and then put them in the chair and started asking them questions, all like kind of winging it. So it was an intense three days, and I think we got like 15, 16 interviews um yeah yeah uh, including the founders of nia which was fantastic so um one of the founders totally on on page everything he was saying made sense the other founder it was just whoosh, he was talking and i was smiling and nodding just just to get through the conversation because uh, you know he was just next level uh, even i couldn't follow some of the stuff he was saying so um, Ilya, but fantastic. I actually bumped into him on the walk up to Vitalik because he was walking up the same time. But um, he'd seen Vitalik at uh, Eat Soul already, so he was only walking up to see if he was going to give a different speech. If it wasn't a different speech, um, he was going to... Yeah, because his, his speech is... He, he's doing like a road tour, I suppose, talking about the same thing in as many places as possible, uh, being the merge of, of Ethereum yeah. layers, right? Yeah. And exactly. that's what it was about too. So. Yeah. Uh, it looked like that. There was a PowerPoint. I was deciphering some information off it. But look, uh, a few other things that to call out. One, everyone... Game 5 was a huge presence at the conference. Every Everything was Game 5. Uh, yeah. Second, David is a master at acquiring loot. My God, you should have seen this guy. He was every store we went to. I'd be like, nah, oh, I'm, I don't want to line up. David's in line. He gets to the front. They give him a hat. 
And he's like, could I get the jumper? What about the tote bag? How about these stickers? <laughs> Clear out the entire place and, and we would head off. So uh, it was... Look, we had to earn our tickets back. We had to earn our flights back. So, um, yeah, I've got <laughs> two drawers full of loot. Uh, if anyone needs a neck fan, just hit me up. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that, 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 you know, that's worth like 60 bucks. Kronos, um, my, my crypto.com, that chain was giving away some serious loot. Yeah. Um, they were, and it was interesting to see them there with their stand, handing out like neck fans, this and that, uh, in exchange for a couple of Twitter likes, and they they showcased their work, you know, and 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 I and they they essentially it was like icon light in terms of platforms, like they you know they had their NFT platform, they had this that it wasn't even finished yet, <laughs> but you know yeah it, it was nice, good chat and interesting stuff, and it, it 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 just shows that the fundamental apps that you need are are like an nft platform a dex a this a that but my takeaway was besides a neck fan a face fan and a tote bag that icon has all these dApps in place and mm. they even look better already so that was kind of exciting i was like okay yeah. you know next time i'm just gonna infiltrate i'm gonna stand here and i'm gonna <laughs> push the icon dApps on people <laughs> yeah no totally uh so there was that the loot was awesome then the next thing was uh, over there now, no one's talking Web 3.0. Everyone started defaulting to 2.5. This was just the name of the game because, and the common theme was, well, the Web 3.0, yes, it does all this stuff from a, um, you know, interacting decentralized identity, blah, blah, blah. But the UI is terrible. No one's going to use this stuff. So they're like, well, in Web 2.0, they've mastered the UI and, and you know, people like to use stuff in Web 2.0. Uh, including, you know, your banking apps, your traditional apps that you see and stuff. Uh, people have taken time to build it. Like you, you like using it. It's smooth. The, everything about it is nice. So this terminology came about and was everywhere. We're building Web 2.5. And uh, yeah, so there was that, uh, that was a consistent messaging theme. And the final thing that I was able to pick up on, every second person you spoke to was some kind of investment fund that what investment fund or wealth manager and the, a lot of the conversations it's it became apparent a lot of these investment funds and stuff they're actually kind of onboarding internally and building teams to build your next generation dApps so rather than issuing tokens to everyone etc they, they don't want to worry about all of that they just want to build a, a dap an application seamlessly have an in-house team that they can use to manage uh, you know, uh, uh, and, and yeah, then deploy and, and worry about the tokenomics and the decentralization aspect later. This was in a lot of different conversations I had with different people, this came up consistently. So I found that quite interesting. That's all I <laughs> Yeah, I'm thinking, when were you having these conversations? And then I realized I spent half a day with a COVID testing stick down my throat and nose uh, searching for the right center. So it must have been that, that morning yes. as well. Not just um, that, you know, your delay. So David uh, is connect, missed his connecting flight. Um, not No fault of his own. So he spent 24 hours in Abu Dhabi. Abu Dhabi, uh, downtown, downtown, D downtown. <laughs> and, um, yeah, that was, that was hilarious. So he's sending pictures of him relaxing, uh, well by the pool, but later on I found out it was quite the, uh, terrible experience for him as well in terms of traveling to get there. It sucks. I didn't have, you know, you, you travel to a different time zone for at least you want to get like six days out of it, maybe five. Whatever I had, it, it would have been too short anyways. And then to get a day taken away, you know, so instead of um, seeing, meeting people, looking around at this big, massive crypto convention, I'm sitting in Abu Dhabi in the desert uh, on a rooftop next to a pool by myself. Um, and I, I, I had envisioned something else. So, yeah, if I could do it all over again, I would hope to make my connecting flight and have 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 more time at the conference. Yeah, but um, yeah, if you ever, ever want like a warm holiday, go to Abu Dhabi in the summer. <laughs> oh, and then you saw a tanning tanning um, boot in, in the, the mall. Yeah, in the mall. <laughs> it was a tanning saloon in, in Abu Dhabi mall. And it was quite the paradox. 
<laughs> okay, okay. So that's a bit about our adventures. Soon you should, hopefully, fingers crossed, start seeing some of these interviews trickle through, whether it is on Iron Icon or the actual Foundation channel. Uh, but something, somehow, the content will get out there. So stay tuned. So, so they're quick, short interviews, but... Um, you know, uh, some of the stuff is, well, I was genuinely excited because I was also hearing the information for the first time. So I was just picking their brain on camera. But enough about that. Let's kick off with the news. So while Career Blockchain Week was going on, we were presenting uh, three day workshops with our partners, uh, talking interoperability, talking all kinds of things. And then all of a sudden started seeing uh, Nexus has been deployed on Testnet on Lisbon. And obviously I knew that because I pre-prepared a tutorial, uh, got access to it so everyone could follow along. Uh, however, that announcement went out and people, I hope you've been trying it on Testnet. David, have you had a play? I've had a play and uh, yeah worked for me worked for you thumbs up cool so uh, it, it was pretty pretty easy standard bridge stuff uh, the the guy did have a lot of other tokens however uh bnb and icx are the easiest because they have four sets everything else i can't figure out how to acquire those tokens so um uh, there there is in case you didn't know thanks to david's lovely skills who built this fantastic website the if you didn't like reading the article that got published in terms of you like to watch videos and learn uh, here's a tutorial that's been done as well by crypt from crypto setups and yeah you can follow along i have updated the show notes to ensure i've included the contract the correct contract addresses because uh, they changed once they got deployed but yeah so that's great news. We shouldn't be far away from mainnet. Fingers crossed. Fingers I, crossed. I know, actually, I know we are scheduled for middle of the month mainnet, I believe. Uh, it, it is obviously uh, in the background, you know, as the people have been testing more and more and things get reported, fixes are being put in place. So that, that could be one of the reasons why it just hasn't launched yet to, to get in uh, some of those fixes that may be coming through. So just keep that in mind. But yes, very keen to get this one out and launched. Shall we move on? Yeah. Do you want to tackle the next one? Snow Crowd Loan, what's going on there? Uh, as per the news um, and as per the plan, Auction 51 is inbound. Uh, Parachain Auction 51 for a Kusuma Parachain slot. And that's when Snow will be kickstarting the crowd loan for a second time. Uh, first time, the famous error caused the crowd loan to kind of be void. Uh, so the team had to wait for that to expire, which it has. The team then called this particular function to the Kusama blockchain, which returned the previously contributed Kusama to all the original contributors. And as of now, we're counting down, if you scroll down, counting down towards uh, the launch, the second launch, um, with the good news for all the original contributors that if you contribute again the same amount, you're going to get even more rewards. So there, there's an additional community contribution pool for, 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 for users who contributed the first time. Uh, and if you contribute the same amount or more uh, the second time round, you're going to get like additional additional rewards, which is uh, nice. It, like I was going to contribute anyway again because uh, what mm. am I going to do with Kusama otherwise? Uh, sell it again? I don't know. The price went up and down in the meanwhile. What's interesting about the countdown clock is that it isn't a hundred percent accurate. There's a there's a note now that mentions that, and the reason for this is the auction starts at a certain block height on the Kusama blockchain, but the speed at which blocks are produced differs so they can like a blockchain can speed up or slow down depending on external factors and therefore you can't 100% accurately say when a certain block in the future will be produced so if you want to know the actual time you can hit hit up the link that's mentioned you can see the uh, the real time estimation which is probably going to be 14 days and somewhat around uh, 17 hours. Uh, the reason people want to know the exact time is because the earlier you get in, the higher your reward. See, there's a base reward of 4,000 snow token per contributed Kusama token, but you can get a maximum of an additional 4,000 on top 
uh, if you get in early. So as the contributions roll in, the, the bonus on top starts sliding down. But if you get in early, the very first Kusama that, 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 gets, uh, that gets in, that gets contributed, is going to get 8,000 snow tokens reward. So that's why a lot of people are very interested in the exact time when it starts. And that's why uh, you'd want you want to know. So the tip there is to keep an eye on the the Kusuma blockchain. Their 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 subscan is their blockchain explorer. And there's a link to that on the Crowdloan website, icenetwork.io. Yeah. So counting down and um, getting ready. I suppose. I hope it's not in the middle of the night for me because that means I have to uh, get up. Because you know you do try and get in early. <laughs> yeah. No. Great summary and. Yes, it's happening. Round two. Oh, yeah, it's it, it'll go smoothly this time. Fingers crossed. So, cool. Next up, uh, what have we got? Ohm. Ohm. It's the one year anniversary. Can you believe it's been one year, David? It uh, feels like 10 years. Oh my, my goodness. I, I can't remember. It was just one year ago. I was degening into it, thinking it was a lifetime opportunity, even though I knew about impermanent loss and I knew everything that would happen. But those yields were insane. Like they were nine hundred percent APR. Oh my god! I was so rich for a few days. <laughs> and then, but but that that said, uh, that's my own mistake. But overall, though, what a year it's been. Uh, constant updates to the protocol. It is nothing. It looks nothing like and operates nothing like when it launched a year ago. So uh, with boosted home, with the charts, with I don't know. There's a ton of stuff, and and even a year later, after uh, was was the vote, voter rewards were implemented on day dot. So a year later, I feel people haven't yet tapped into the advantages of the staking rewards with the Ohm token in terms of delegating uh, a validator vote. So I feel yes, it's been a hell of a year, but at the same time. We've only scratched the surface of potential when it comes to Ohm. And one year isn't that long. I, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't, um, it, it can, it, it can explode in, in year two or even in year three in terms of uh, users and usability. There's a lot of stuff on the horizon. You know how the, uh, the BTP interoperability is being pushed forward. Uh, that, that, that's one of those things that Ohm is, it's perfect for it. Like it's so much better than uh, we mentioned Kronos earlier. <laughs> they have a they have a money market, <laughs> but I haven't seen it. But I, I I'm just gonna assume that Ohm is better. And can you imagine if uh, 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 BTP launches and the interoperability uh, functionality gets added to this money borrowing and lending market? It's just it's on the horizon. It's been on the horizon for a year now, right? So. I think that's like a that's going to be like a big accelerator that I'm still looking forward to it. I'm not going anywhere. I don't think any of the the, the, the core ohm holders they're they're just holding and waiting for uh, more utility to 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 become available because the platform is ready for it. Yeah, I agree. And look, can't wait to see what comes i think they've got a good team behind it so and the monks at the end of the day are also doing uh, getting funding from the dow and and pulling together to to market and come up with different initiatives to, to ensure there's engagement across the platform including discord as well so uh, and they happen to sponsor iron icon now so thank you monks uh thank you <laughs> then the other thing, so for the year anniversary, for the next 24 hours, they're dropping, I believe, every hour, tweet after tweet. So um, uh, from what it looks like, rehashing memories, milestones. But one thing to note is I believe the emissions of Ohm should be dropping on the year because it was 400,000 a day and then it should drop what the percentage, I can't remember off the top of my head, but there's a drop coming, which is great for the token itself. Uh, but overall, the boosted model, uh, I felt, has really helped the token itself because now people have been locking up and locking up for four years. Uh, I think last time, like 20% of the supply has been locked up for four years from uh, from a tweet, I recall. And yeah, just great, great to see. Oh, 
the monks are sponsoring Ion Icon. And if you haven't heard about the Ohm monks, these are the core community members at Ohm Finance, the borrowing and lending market on the Icon blockchain. Now, in order to increase community engagement, the Ohm monks have accumulated heaps of assets, NFTs of different projects in the Icon ecosystem. They've thrown them all on a pile and they're actually giving them away to you, the user. Uh, all you have to do is engage with the Ohm community on either Twitter or Discord, get noticed, and they will reward you with an Ohm Monks NFT. Now, if you have one of those, your name is going to appear on the spinny, spinny wheel. And every Eye on Icon episode, you have a chance to win one of those beautiful NFTs from the ecosystem. We're talking Yetis, Claws. We're talking collaborations with Tamashi, Wonder Game, Project Nebula. So get in, engage with the Monks, and be a winner. And Project Nebula Pack 2, the winner is Profit. Well done, man. Congratulations. Okay. Oh, my God. Okay. So, next up, Gangsta Bet. A ton of stuff. They've been dropping things left, right, and center. Uh, so, super quick recap. It's not an intro. You should know. You know what Gangsta Bet is. Crown is the governance token. You are earning it currently by uh, uh, staking to the node. You can now claim it. Uh, once you claim crown, you have other options of earning more crown, which is one, you can deposit in the bank. The bank, it's got a sweet explanation around it. Uh, basically, in the bank, anything that gets spent in the gangster universe, a portion of it goes to uh, the depositors of the bank. So when you deposit crown, you get X crown, which essentially keeps growing in value for anything the uh, gangster bet versus earning very quick overview there um but you can also deposit you can keep staking with gangster bet and keep earning more crown you can um what's the other one you can deposit into the lp at the moment so if you want you can supply liquidity and earn crown as well there's an allocation and it's quite cool when you connect your wallet you can see all the bonuses what what distributions happening per day to what area so i encourage you one make sure you've claimed it two depending on what your risk appetite is. Um, keep in mind, if you're looking to dump, the liquidity pool is tiny. I think it's 40,000 BUSD versus the, the equivalent crown on the other side. So uh, if, if you have, if you're a whale, or even if a tiny portion, you're gonna move the price. So just, just trend with caution. Uh, at the same time, from my perspective, not financial advice, I don't know about you, David, but I got it for free. So I'm going to try and degen more free out of it. <laughs> oh, yes, <laughs> absolutely. No, what, I'm, what I'm doing is I purchased Ohm tokens. I locked them up for four years. I allocated all my inflated votes <laughs> to Gangstabet, and they started then, you know, returning the favor by sending me crown. The crown now went into the bank. So, yeah, it's the process. Um, and I'm very, very fully uh, invested into the whole system. What, what, what excites me most about this is the announcement they made the other day where they said, yeah, thanks to the bear market, we've had extra time to work and we've actually shown our prototype to some of our partners and we blew their minds. And that was uh, a nice sentence to read because, okay, if the prototypes are blowing minds, um, show me V1, like, yeah, let me in. Where, where, you know? where did you see this? Where did you see this? In the oh, Discord. you have it right there. Yeah, no, nah, you've, you've got your um, announcements up, and I think it's the second, second or... One? No, this one, this one, this one. Oh, yeah. I want to see it blow my mind. So the paragraph that starts with the interactive Emerald City. Ah, yep, yep. Keep reading. Then it says, the bear market has given us some extra time to keep innovating and building the city. We have shown some of our partners prototypes, and their minds were blown off. Oh. <laughs> Typical gangster style, you know, you don't blow their minds, you blow all their minds, I yeah. love it. Oh, true to the cause. Uh, so yeah, okay. that's um, confidence, you know, and what have they kind of let us know when, when? No, we don't have a when yet, but we know it's inching closer. So th these are some of the Discord announcements. Um, I, I believe I've kind of literally run through them all as an overview. Uh, the last one, though, that they did announce was uh, they're going to use now 2.5% of the node rewards 
uh, it's going to de- be dedicated to the bank regularly. So uh, obviously I was thinking of this as well because the Gangsterverse hasn't kicked off. So how exactly uh, we know M- the crown token can be used to buy um, land and stuff in the game. Uh, however, uh, if the bank is getting fees from all of that, well, nothing's happening right now. So, I mean, in light of that, one of the things they've done is taken a portion off their node rewards. And remember, Gangster Bet's like a top five node, so they have decent rewards in the first place. So to have a portion of that being put back into the bank, guys, basically it's, you put it in the bank, you're earning fees, including now some node rewards. So uh, win-win for everyone. Yeah, David, you, are you shocked in silence? Or are you impressed with my delivery or are you impressed? I was, running, I was running through the system in my head with the crown rewards uh, and I didn't get it lined up fast enough. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> That's no, why so. that was silent. But I can, I can now. So uh, what they do is they get their ICX staking rewards. They go to the open market and they buy crown off the open market, mm. buying pressure. Then yep. they take that crown and they put it into the bank. Um, and then people like you and I, who have also put our crown into the bank, are able to withdraw a part of that. So if I put 10 crown into the bank today, I might be able to withdraw 11 crown tomorrow. Mm. So they just keep putting crown in the bank and it gets split over all of us who have also put our crown into the bank. So the longer your crown sits in the bank, the greater the amount. Yeah, you can you can you can take out at a later moment. It's it's uh, you can call it staking, but you're not securing any network. You're just being a part of a pool that keeps growing. Yep, love it. Um, okay, I think that's all. So Gangsterbet had a lot of news that dropped, and we've just covered it all. Then next up, we had. Project Nebula. I thought this was cool. So obviously, uh, Framed has been announcing partnership after partnership. Uh, to your earlier point, everything, all your own delegated to Gangster Bet, Framed won't be happy to hear some something like that, given they're giving out rewards as well. But <laughs> enough about enough picking on David. Uh, what what I liked about this is we've seen you know uh, Framed partner up with Alter for. Uh, you can't see it now, but David's hat uh, that he's wearing, Alter, and they're going to make some Yeti hats. And we've seen Alter doing a bunch of this with different protocols, which is exciting to see. I'm really happy for him. And at the same time, one of the other per partnerships that came out was framed with Project Nebula, but it's a tr- based around a trading event where uh, they've allocated, I believe, basically 4,000 frame tokens and per is it per planet that is bought? Uh, there's allocation yeah. of frame that goes to it uh, up to a certain limit, which is the max is a hundred framed per planet. Yeah. So, and it's just for one week. So if, if you were looking to acquire some project Nebula planets, now is the time to not financial advice, but uh, you know, when you go and buy for this, uh, this week, you're going to get, uh, some frame tokens as well. Bang for your buck. Thank and, you. uh, yeah, I, I, you know when I was talking about all my own votes going to Gangster Bet, that's um, that's my that's my Gangster wallet. Oh, and then, oh damn! And then there's also a framed wallet that has oh. that has mirrored the strategy with framed. So you know, <laughs> lock up wallets. Hope. Yeah, I just split them. I fractionalized my wallets, <laughs> <laughs> and I split them. Um, so s- same strategy: vote for framed through ohm so you get like inflated votes much more than you would otherwise have frame then rewards you with their ecosystem token and that token you can stake for a reward structure uh mm. so the the circle is is similar and in this case it's because you can't get your hand you can buy framed on the open market uh but you can't get your hands on it in a lot of other ways if you own the yeti mm-hmm. you get them dripped in not a lot and if you vote for them I think also possibly supplying liquidity would make sense, but I'm not sure. No, no, there's no, they don't have no need for anyone to supply liquidity because portion of there's a selling tax and not a buying tax, just a selling tax and, and node rewards uh, daily. There's a portion that gets allocated that automatically goes into the LP. So uh, th- this was interesting as well, David. So we've seen now Gangster Bet doing this, obviously framed, uh, put this, 
brought this approach to the icon ecosystem uh, it, it's a this taxing system is quite common on Binance Smart Chain, particularly with a lot of protocols on there. But in this case, they implemented this uh, in Icon, where unique, where we can run these nodes that give decent rewards. And we're starting to see this with Code Metal and, and all the new nodes coming up, essentially taking those rewards and not necessarily just giving ICX back to people, but they've got kicking off their own token and then using the rewards to attract voters, one, and two, the actual uh, rewards, which is inflation, is getting redirected into LP pools. Now, I'm not gonna take credit for this, but I did see a tweet just recently um, put out by someone, I'm sorry, I didn't register the name, but uh, basically he was calling out that we're starting to see this trend now with Gangster Bet, Framed, and a few others. And what's happening here is uh, these rewards are getting locked in into the LP pool. So even though inflation is happening, a, lo a lot of that inflation now is getting routed and locked away in a liquidity pool rather than being taken to central exchanges and dumped for uh, the dollar. So, uh, Look, it's it's little steps, and I kind of agree. Yes, this is a cool. This is this is cool to see it evolving because um, it's evolving in the right ways. Like especially with projects that are just going to be around. You know, those LP pools are going to be around um, as long as the chain is alive. Fingers crossed. And uh, yeah, it's great. It's a great system. I think I know who tweeted that. It was Vitalik. He was just uh, doing a little. Uh... Little icon tweet, sneaky for his inner circle. So uh, I saw that too. Thanks and for it, in essence, that this mechanism, you know, it's quite hard to follow, and there's massive graphs with a lot of arrows. But if you wind it all back, it's a form of uh, vote sharing that I think Spartan Node introduced like two years ago. They kind of came into the scene and said, "Hey, P reps are getting a lot of rewards. Vote for us, and we will give those rewards to you." the people and that got a lot of traction and a lot of votes and people were just basically voting for spartan node getting staking rewards and on top spartan node was just handing out the rewards they got you know like a robin hood and this is like uh profit sharing or vote profit sharing with a twist so instead of giving it straight to the people it goes into like this token economy that benefits, you know, different angles of the icon ecosystem and the users in the end. So it's an evolution. I just wanted to give some credit to Spartan Node for stepping in, you know, ruffling some feathers, <laughs> rubbing some people the wrong way, and saying we're just going to do this. And the people followed. So it's, they've shown that, you know, when you incentivize people or when you give them what they want, you, you can get the votes. And that's been a lesson to all ever everyone now. Yeah. Yeah. Look, they did. They. There, there's a history behind um, vote buying that was shamed on. Um, yeah, I know, so, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, and, and now it, it's different. I think it, it goes to show you, if you let a evolution happen naturally, people will find a way that evolves from vote buying to value adding, you know? So... Um, and that, that's what I see happening at the moment. So uh, kudos to Spartan Node. I, I don't know if Spartan Node's running anymore. Uh, I, I, know, I know, I hope Dusty is recovering. I know he hurt himself quite bad and is recovering. I, I recall seeing something that the node wasn't operational, but please don't quote me on that. I'm not trying to snub um, or anything like that. I just, it's something they I still wanted to follow up. I still vote for them. Okay, okay. Uh, okay, well, Last one, David, do you want to cover this? What we have? You want me to cover this because you don't know how to pronounce <laughs> the title. <laughs> I, I don't want to give everyone the credit. Give it a go. Know, give it a go. I'll we'll cover it. You do, the title. you do the title. I'll give it I'll cover Never. It. Never. I'm going to go Latin. I'm going to say Inanus Invictus, uh, okay. the tabletop and collectible gaming experience. Um, this is an NFT project that is, again, slightly different than the rest. It has the same space theme as we know from Project Nebula, but the gameplay um, isn't there yet, and it's going to be different. Um, quite to read, there's a lot of information on the website, but what the news is here is that they've, they're have they running a launch promotion where you can go in and purchase a, an asset pack. So these are NFTs tied into the game. What is interesting about it is the payment methods. We can pay with ICX like we're used to, but this is actually the first project that I'm seeing that is allowing 
payment in BNUSD, our what? icon stablecoin. And that's great because, you know, BNUSD is minted on the balance platform. Um, it's an it's an over collateralized and algorithmic stablecoin. So it has like a double mechanism built in for safety. But at the end of the day, you need to lock up about you need to lock up four times the amount of dollar value ICX to get like one BNUSD. So for everyone purchasing um, an NFT asset pack for, for 15 BNUSD, there's been about 60 dollars worth of ICX locked up in imbalanced. So the usage of BNUSD, balanced dollars, is something that both Fez and I like really cheer on because of the uh, the idea of locking up more ICX. That that that's the idea behind it. If if everyone in the world would be using BNUS dollars, total ICX supply would be locked up. <laughs> and that's what, what you kind of want uh, in terms of I don't know, token value speculation and whatnot. So that's that's interesting and good. So I hope more will follow with this. Yeah. Wasn't craft like announcing that the the entire NFT marketplace was going to accept BNUSD. Oh, this has been on on their on their plan for a while. So fingers yeah. crossed. And look, I, I've always been. I, uh, if long time listeners of show will will recall, I always call out BUSD BN not BUSD BNUSD adoption within the Icon ecosystem itself is crucial. Like. Uh, you know, we need we need it to happen. I know there's been a we need you know it to get out there. Agree, but there's no harm in it being used within our ecosystem because not a hundred percent of, for example, let's say all these sales are all sold in BNUSD. We already know four times the amount of ICX gets locked up to mint a dollar. Uh, however, most likely not a hundred percent of this will get sold back, or well, it'll be used uh, say. Uh, removed out of circulation is what I'm getting at. Maybe 30% of the BNUSD will be held, put in uh, ohm to earn interest while the project is building. That itself is locking away a ton of ICX in the background. So, you know, it, it is a win-win. It, it, the system is working now with rebalancing, now taking a bit of a back seat but that's not what this is about what we're here to talk about is this project it has got a live um there's only there's not much left how much is left 85 85 out of 500 assets david you bought an asset just before the show didn't you yes i paid with uh icx oh, you, whoops you, uh, you, what <laughs> oh my god we just we just cut cut <laughs> <laughs> i looked at my wallet and I didn't have any BNUSD, and I did have ICX, and so then I purchased the IC it. Is the ICX tally, like, how does it move? Is it a fixed amount, or does it go based on the rate? I would imagine they've built in a rate converter. Well, we've been saying we got to get them on the show, and um, uh, sorry, we have been on a hiatus for a little bit, so uh, scheduling interviews and getting stuff um, prepped so that we can stick to a bit of a routine. but. Overall, if you haven't already, uh, David gave a great overview. Check out this. This is cool and innovative. And finally, it is sending a portion of everything generated goes back to CPS. So this, they have done, they've actually set up a node as well. So you can vote for them and you get the void token. But at the same time, they are giving back to CPS. They got funding from CPS and they're giving back a portion of their sales to CPS, which is fantastic because we know the more money CPS has, the more it will attract builders, not just builders. We're seeing, you know, Ben did great studio Mario. They went out to create blockchain week, did a ton of interviews. So we're seeing what we want from the community uh, you know your community member you have a skill set you think you can help icon you can do something in various ways you can go to cps but the problem is cps needs to have money and if everyone is stripping cps dry and we don't have money well then things start to grind to a halt because some projects take a lot longer to build so i love that i'm this what he's done here i love seeing this i encourage more and more teams especially if they're spinning up nodes and part of their node rewards and they're moving up to those top 10 and they have been funded by cps they should start thinking about how they can you know pay back cps to, to enable more builders and more things to happen in icon rant over beautiful rant 
we should uh, put like a little uh, minimalistic beat under that rant. <laughs> People should give back to CBS <laughs> when they made their money back. <laughs> like, uh, what's the guy called? Oh, I forget the name now. Oh, never mind. This the certain artist. Never mind. Forget it. End of Forget show. It. Okay, yeah. I wouldn't know. That, that was just me <laughs> beatboxing. Uh, a fez box the artist. Okay, so uh, I think, look, that's it. That's it for the news. Uh, I don't think we have anything else. I know there's been a ton of stuff happen. Ohm roadmap updates, balance roadmap updates, icon roadmap updates. I know there's been some sensational feedback uh, around the icon dev update that came out this month. People loved uh, the bit of a deep dive into what was taking up time in terms of the integration why we weren't getting fluent updates how the teams actually worked and you know based on this i have spoken to cyrus and i'm going to get him on iron icon i've actually told him like four times now david iron icon he's like i'm just waiting for the invite i'm like oh jesus it's my fault so <laughs> <laughs> it is my fault everyone so it is coming and uh, stay tuned for that overall uh, everyone uh, monks thank you for spon sponsoring the show Second thing, not financial advice. Third thing, I'm not done yet. We've got some cool things in the in the works at the moment. Uh, I'm not going to talk about, it, but even with the show, I know it's been a bit off and on, but I'm keen to get a bit bit of a rhythm going. If you're listening to this and you're part of a community, uh, I want everyone to really drill it in to these protocols community. Uh, you as community members, get in there and be vocal. I have all the time in the world me and david when it comes to setting up time to interview people they want to be on the show uh, i don't know there's some somehow i've gotten wind fez is busy no 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 guys i will make 25 hours in a day to make sure we get interviews lined up i've just stopped chasing as hard as i was before because yeah i am a little bit busy but also you know uh, uh, people aren't yeah People, when people don't respond, I kind of give up. But overall, nag them to get on the show. Like, a great example, look at Gangster Bet. There's so much happening in there. I haven't had them in there since they launched the NFTs. Can you imagine how awesome it would be to get someone from Gangster Bet just giving an overview of everything going on so someone can listen to that episode and know exactly where we are? And I can say this with Karma Dow, um, Invictus, my fault. Uh, getting more of the foundation people on who, again, my fault. Uh, so there's a lot of fault lying with me, but in the communities, get them. Studio Mirror, I know Ben, when we were in Korea, we were gonna do an episode, but just it got tiring and we ran out of time. Get them on the show. There's so much happening everywhere. There is a platform here for the community to, to get them on and spread the word so that it goes out of one person's community, one person's Discord, and to everyone, because it is the community podcast. Ah, oh, that's another rant, David. Why didn't you Beautiful. stop me? No, because I was trying to think of a beat to give you uh, on that. <laughs> and the singer is Faithless. Faithless. Uh, yes, yes, yes. I can't get no sleep. That that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, then when yeah. you're done, it goes. Yeah. Did you get a I version remember. of that? Okay. Cool. So, look, that's it. Uh, I, I really hope people listen to that rant at the end and, and start chanting. I've already seen kudos to Charles. I think it's Charles um, in Gangster Bet. There's been a bit happening and he literally tagged uh, saying me and saying, why don't you all go on um, Iron Icon? And that, that is the point. That is what I would love to see the community doing more of in the protocol so that um, they, they hear it and we can schedule a time and get you on the show. That's it. Calling it not financial advice. Share, like, subscribe. More on Iron Icon updates coming soon. Very, very big updates. Thank you. Thank you for listening, making it this far. Whoever you are, leave a little comment down below. Give us a like and a subscribe and tell your mom about us. <laughs> your mom. Okay, take care, man. Bye, Bye everyone. everyone.